Why was the decade proclaimed? The decade was proclaimed because one, humanity depends on the oceans. Transportation of 90% of the world's goods is through oceans. The oceans absorb 93% of anthropogenic heat and mitigates, regulates both climate and uh, weather. The ocean is important for oxygen production. The, the oceans contribute immensely to the economy and uh, jobs creation. The oceans underpin food sources for 3 billion people on Earth. The oceans are important for coastal protection and it has immeasurable cultural and educational value. But the ocean is under threat from climate change, from destruction of habitats and ecosystems, from pollution, including plastics and many others, from overfishing, and from new and emerging threats. This is the reason why the decade was proclaimed so as to address these challenges and increase the benefits of mankind from oceans. If you look at another aspect, we believe that there are more than one million species that have not been identified in the ocean. Less than 25% of the ocean has been mapped to high resolution. Compare that to the moon, which has been completely mapped to high resolution. The decade provides an opportunity to address this disconnect, to create transformative science that will enable us understand the oceans and be able to use the oceans better to satisfy the requirements of mankind while addressing the challenges that face the ocean. The roadmap was prepared by IOC of UNESCO and the IOMSA to provide a framework for implementing actions during the decade in the region. It identifies nine priority issues that we need to address in this region in order to be able to achieve the decade outcomes. The Ocean Decade Booklet for, for the region is an easy to read document providing information about the decade to the entire range of stakeholders. It was prepared with support from the early career uh, ocean scientists in the region. Each of them to look at the different or the ocean decade challenges and uh, prepare a brief on how this challenge are relevant to the region. And for each of the challenges, they also picked up a case study, which is addressing the challenge, and uh, gave information on the case studies, which people can replicate in other parts of the continent. It really is good reference material that will be useful, not just to the youth and students, but also to the entire range of people who are inside the ocean space in our region. The symposium provides an excellent opportunity for the scientists to have come here and other different stakeholders to meet and discuss how to build on the science that they have been generating in recent years. It provides an opportunity for them to look at how can this science be used to change human behavior towards the ocean. So for us, this conference is really an important event in the calendar of the decade. Thank you.